Happy Monday, everyone. This is My Crime Elamine with My Crime's Motivational Mondays. I'm happy to be with you as always. And today, for a few moments, I want to talk about four steps to success. Now, right away, let me just share with you, as you probably know, there really is no are no shortcuts to success. There's no there's no cheat sheet. There's no a way to to get around the serious work that needs to happen. But there are some steps, some fundamental things that we must do that I believe that are paramount to us actually becoming successful. The first, I believe, is faith. For me, it's faith in God. But for you, faith in the higher power, faith in a bigger purpose, etc. All those things, I think, are on the same track or on the same line. But we must be have our work as a part of a bigger work, a bigger reality for ourselves. And we must believe in that with all of our being. That faith in something bigger than us, a higher power, God, should also translate into faith in ourselves. We must believe in ourselves. We see so many people living below their standard of life, below their the quality of life, uh, because they simply don't have that fundamental belief in themselves that they can do it in their, in their capacity, in their abilities, that they're even worthy of success. So faith in God, faith in your success and your own personal selves for success is critical for you to move forward. The second thing is once you have that faith, you must do something with it. You must roll up your sleeves and be prepared to work. Again, there are no shortcuts. There's, there's work that needs to be done. We need to plan our work. We need to work our plan, as they would say. We need to make certain that we have steps that we're taking each and every day towards that overall ultimate goal that we have to be success. In whatever endeavor it is, you must plan and you must work. They said faith without good works is dead. It's dead. It's, it's not a reality. It's nothing that we can even, even base anything upon. So you must be prepared to do that work as proof that I believe in me. So I'm going to do something about my reality today. Thirdly, we must be committed to reality and truth. We must think about what we want and we must consult others develop a circle of support, take your ideas, take your thoughts, take your goals to those trusted sources, people that have your best interest at heart. Vet out your ideas, vet out your goal, vet out your business plan. Have them to question you about what you say you want to do and be prepared to wrestle with those things and make certain that what you are looking to do is actually possible. One of the worst things that we ever want to do is give ourselves over to things we haven't fully thought through. When we fail at those things, we feel like we've wasted time, we've wasted energy, we've wasted a lot of money. But have those trusted sources that can help you vet through to make sure that your work, your effort is based in truth and reality. And last but not least, which could be the first even, is patient perseverance. I can say a lot about this. When I say patience, I don't mean idle. I don't mean sitting back. I don't mean just kind of, we're going to wait and see what happens. That's not the patience that I'm talking about. I'm talking about the patience that happens with a person who has strong belief, committed to working. They have a plan that is based in reality and they are diligent and consistent in all of those things as they are awaiting for their success to come to pass. That's the, that's the patience that I'm talking about. Things do not happen overnight. We must honor the struggle. We can't live a life of a fantasy thing and things are going to happen to fall out the sky. I have to repeat that. Because too many of us are wanting that instantaneous, that instant gratification, that what I call that microwave success, where we don't do the real work for it, but we want to reap the benefit. That's not a reality, people. It's not a reality. Our want to what we really want in more life must be bigger than what we have to do. Let me explain that. When I really want something, there are going to be steps that I need to do to get to my want. Well, when my want to is so strong within my very being, then what I need to do to achieve it, I just take it in stride. So if I need to go back to school and finish my degree, then that's just what I have to do. 
If that means I have to go and get more information about how to build a website, then that's just what I have to do. If that means I have to expand my circle and get a coach, someone who I can work with and who can help me navigate all of the, the, the terrain of starting a new project, then that's what I do. When that want to is big enough, then what I need to do to achieve it, I'm willing to do all of those things. A quote that I love that I always think about when I'm contemplating and, you know, the, the, in the midst of the tough decisions and things that I really need to do to be successful. I think about the quote that says, the successful people are the ones that were willing to do the things that the unsuccessful people were unwilling to do. It's about willingness and unwillingness that determines success. If you find this information helpful to you, please share it with those who you love, who you care, who you think they can benefit from them by signing in in our email below. And we'll get all of our Monday messages sent to you directly. We look forward to working with you. We want you to be successful in your life. We want you to take your destiny in your own hands. And by all means, be great.